Hello, my name is Dr. Don Meyer. I've been a chiropractor for the last 28 years, and in all that time, I have never seen anything that is as effective as the Prolordotic Neck Exerciser for improving range of motion, decreasing chronic neck pain and headaches, and restoring a normal lordotic curvature to the neck. Let me explain what a normal lordotic curvature is and why it is so important. This is an x-ray of the side view of a person's head and neck. Notice how this person has an anterior or forward curvature of their neck. This is considered the normal or ideal structure for the neck. When it has this lordotic curvature, most of the weight of the head, which can vary from 10 to 16 pounds, is supported by the thick, strong facet joints in the rear region of the neck. Unfortunately, many people have necks like the one in this second x-ray, which have lost their normal forward curvature and are either straight or even reversed in the wrong direction. This is caused either by trauma, such as a car accident, or after years of head down desk work. With a neck like this, much of the head weight is now being carried by the spinal discs. These joints in the front of the spine were not designed to carry all that weight and after a few years they start to dry up and degenerate. As this happens they get thinner and thinner. This is called degenerative joint disease or as it is more commonly known spinal arthritis. It leads to chronic neck pain, decreased head and neck motion, and if it occurs in the upper neck, chronic headaches. I treated the patient in this second x-ray 42 times over the course of three months with neck range of motion exercises, traction, electric muscle stimulation, and manual manipulation. Even with all this physical rehabilitative treatment, because of the disjoint degeneration, I was not able to increase her restricted neck motion, improve her neck curvature, or decrease her chronic neck pain. About this time, I developed the Prolordotic Neck Exerciser and was having some of my patients try it out for free. This patient said she would like to see if it could help her chronic condition. She used the exerciser every day for one month and then returned to my office for a reevaluation. Not only had her range of motion finally increased, but her chronic neck pain and the tingling sensation in her arm had notably decreased. She told me that she really did not care if her neck curvature was getting any better or not because she felt so much better after her sessions with the Prolordotic Neck Exerciser. Well, on the right side of this slide is her last x-ray, which shows a 10 degree improvement of her neck curvature. With continued daily use, this patient completely restored her normal neck range of motion and eliminated her chronic pain. The Prolordotic Neck Exerciser works so well because it not only provides eight great isotonic exercises to help strengthen the neck muscles, but at the same time provides anywhere from 20 to 50 pounds of anterior or forward pull into the neck. It is the first home neck exerciser to do this. This strong localized pull helps to stretch out the thinning degenerated discs and helps them to draw up surrounding blood to rehydrate themselves. It also helps to break up scar tissue that can form within the disc from old injuries. And it does all this while helping to restore the normal forward curvature to the neck. In the next section of this disc, we will review the eight different exercises that you can perform with the Prolordotic Neck Exerciser. I will let you know which ones you should or should not do depending on your spinal structure. I hope you enjoy using the Prolordotic Neck Exerciser and I am confident that it will help you to find relief from chronic neck pain and restricted motion. Before we review the eight prolordotic exercises, it is important to state that if you have an extreme forward head posture, an unstable cervical spine, spinal cancer or infection, a surgical fusion of the cervical spine, or a recent stroke or cerebrovascular accident, you should not use the prolordotic neck exerciser. Also, if you experience dizziness, vertigo, visual or speech disturbances, or a loss of consciousness during or right after use of the Prolordotic Neck Exerciser, you should discontinue use of this device. The Prolordotic Neck Exerciser is available in three different resistance levels. Light resistance, which comes with a dark blue TheraBand tubing, medium resistance, which comes with a black TheraBand tubing, or a firm resistance, which comes with a silver TheraBand tubing. It is important that you use the correct resistance level based on your upper body strength. 
you should be able to fully or almost fully extend your arms while performing these exercises. This will ensure that you are applying a strong anterior or forward pull into your neck while performing the exercises. If you have a flattened upper back region from the side view with retracted shoulders, you should use the internal rotation hand positioning during the exercises. Start by holding the prolordotic neck exerciser behind the neck as shown. As you straighten out your arms, the knuckles of your hands should meet in front of you. If you have a normal or slightly increased curvature of the upper back region from the side view, then perform these exercises with the normal hand grip positioning as shown. This is our basic prolordotic neck pump exercise. It acts as our warm-up exercise. It should be done first before any of the other exercises. Start by holding the prolordotic neck exerciser behind the neck as shown. Keep the palms of your hands pointed outward and slowly extend both of your arms forward, relaxing and allowing your neck to be pulled forward at the same time. Try to fully extend your arms, thereby pulling the lower neck fully forward into flexion. If any neck or upper back pain is felt during the extension of your arms, stop at that point. Over time, you should be able to go further and further without pain. Once the lower neck is pulled into full forward flexion, actively pull your head into full extension, thereby completely stretching out the front neck soft tissues. Only pull your head into full extension if it can be accomplished in a pain-free manner. If any pain is felt before full extension, stop at that point. Again, over time, you should be able to go further and further without pain. Your fully extended hands can be slightly moved backward and forward with your head extensions to create a pumping motion to the exercise. Start this neck lordotic pump exercise with the prolordotic neck exerciser pulling into the lower neck region. After three or four repetitions, change the position of the exerciser and the anterior or front angle of pull so that you are pulling into the middle neck region. After three or four repetitions, again change the position and anterior or front angle of pull so that you're pulling into the upper neck region. You should perform this exercise the same as the basic prolordotic neck pump exercise, except this time you should hold the full arm and head extension for five to 10 seconds. And then repeat this exercise into the lower, middle, and upper neck, just like you did with the basic prolordotic neck pump exercise. Since there are six intervertebral joints in your neck, the prolordotic neck pump exercise can be performed in a six-step process, starting in the lower neck region and moving up to the upper neck region with three or four repetitions at each level. Be sure to move your arms higher and higher as you work your way up the neck. Start by performing the neck pump exercise into the lower neck region and after you have fully extended your head, move it into left and right full lateral flexion or side bends. If any pain is felt as you bend your head to each side, stop at that point. Over time, you should be able to go farther and farther without pain. Perform three or four times and repeat in the middle and upper neck regions. Start the neck pump exercise into the lower neck region and after you have fully extended your head, move it into left and right full rotation. Again, if any pain is felt as you turn your head, stop at that point.
This exercise is especially important for people that suffer from chronic upper neck or headache pain because it helps to strengthen the front muscles of the upper neck region. Research has shown that people with chronic headaches usually have a weakness of these muscles. Start by placing the prolordotic neck exerciser into the upper neck region right at the base of your skull. And now chin tuck. Hold the chin tuck position and retract or move your head straight backward against the resistance of your hands pulling the prolordotic neck exerciser slightly forward. Your hands can be slightly moved backward and forward with your head retractions to create a pumping motion to this exercise. Repeat 10 to 12 times. These last two exercises should only be performed if you have a flattened upper thoracic back region and or retracted shoulders. Do not perform these last two exercises if you have an increased side curvature of the upper back region. Start by performing the neck pump exercise into the lower neck region and after you have fully extended your arms, keep your head level and flex or arch your upper back like a cat arches its back. Hold this upper back stretch for 5 to 10 seconds and relax. Your fully extended hands can be slightly moved backward and forward with your upper thoracic flexion to create a pumping motion to this exercise. Repeat 10 to 12 times. Stand and place the prolordotic neck exerciser behind your buttocks, holding it with your palms facing outward and forward as shown. Keep your arms straight and your head extended and rotate your arms inward until your thumbs meet in front of your body. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds and relax. Repeat 10 to 12 times. It is not uncommon to experience some soreness of the neck and upper shoulders after starting to perform these exercises. This muscular soreness should not be intense or last more than a few hours after use. If your reaction is more severe, you are probably performing the exercises too aggressively or are doing too many repetitions. If reducing the repetitions and the force does not reduce your post-exercise soreness, discontinue use and consult your doctor or therapist.